Hello, everyone. My name is Bailey, and I'll be assisting Katie this term as a TA, helping you all learn about the incredible frameworks in design thinking. And I wanted to let you know I recently took this class, so I am bringing the student experience to the table in considering how best we can support you as you learn. This class was huge for me. It fundamentally changed how I think about problem solving and collaboration and my own work and uh, how to create and build the things that I'm passionate about. When I'm not working alongside Katie in this class, I actually work at a virtual charter school helping high school students earn college credit while they get their diplomas. I also am probably struggling in my off time to set boundaries with my Shih Tzu, Juice, who spent the last 15 minutes crying because I was trying to make this video instead of playing with him. Thankfully, I have a very kind husband standing by to distract Juice uh, so that I can wrap this up. And I wanted to offer you all a couple of tips, again, based on my experience, but also things that I know are being broadcast throughout the syllabus and your mural boards and Canvas. My first tip is that I think your experience will be better if you commit to working in the stages that are laid out in the syllabus and in the mural board to create your finished products. I think it's essential to actually being able to learn in the class and not just uh, finish everything last minute. I am somebody who needs a lot of guardrails to manage my time well. And I was really thankful that I put those into place ahead of time because it allowed me to engage with the topics I was learning about and gave my brain time to think on and sit on and sleep on those ideas instead of cramming everything into a few all-nighters I don't think that it's possible to complete the learning objectives or really achieve a passing grade doing it any other way. My other tip is um, something that was actually recommended to me by an advisor in the past, which was plan to meet with an instructor or a TA for office hours within like the first three weeks of any term. And I've used that advice. It's been hugely helpful to me uh, in not hesitating to ask for help because I have set this goal to look out for questions and be curious about what I might need help with and then plan to meet with somebody. Because I also work for a virtual school, I know how important it is to have humans to bridge the gap between what you're learning and the diverse range of thoughts and questions that will come up for learners like yourself. And that is what Katie and I are here for. So I recommend taking advantage of that. To that end, I will be hosting weekly virtual office hours on Wednesday nights from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. And I just ask that you send me a quick email a few hours ahead of time to let me know you'll be there. Um, if that timing for some reason doesn't work for you, I also understand that everybody's busy and have different kinds of commitments. So please reach out to me through email if you want to meet and I will do everything I can to accommodate you. Thank you for taking time to watch this introduction. I have an impatient dog in the background uh, looking for a walk. I look forward to connecting with you and seeing your projects evolve this term. Thank you all so much for checking out my video. Talk to you later.